Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Fang, just Fang, back in our Vegas video. And in this video, it's Pyro One's birthday. Let's go. We got a, we, we got, we got a whole balloon for it. I'm wearing a pirate hat. We got the pirate flag right here. Look at that. It's Pirate 101's birthday, guys. Ten years of Pirate 101. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. We did it, guys. Ten years of Pirate 101. Look at that. I got a whole thing. I have a pirate costume. I'm not... I don't have it on right now. But, yeah. I'm also being a pirate for Halloween. So that's... It kind of worked out that way. But yeah. Guys, it's Pirate 101's birthday. Let's go. Um, they just had their... Ten year anniversary celebration. Let's see if I can put this on my head. <laughs> no. Yeah, we got the we got the birthday balloon. Where is it? There it is. Happy birthday, part 101. This is my game. And my game just turned 10 years old. Can you believe that guys? That's crazy. I I, I can't believe it, you know. That it's been 10 years of Pirate 101, you know, I, I only started playing it back in like 2015-ish, but you know, it's been a great, a, a great time, honestly. So, in this video, we are going to be talking about all the great things of Pirate 101, because I know I've been talking about like, worst mounts, I mean, I talked about best mounts as well, but I talked about like, why the game is not getting updated, all that stuff, but I want to tell you what I like about Pirate 101, why I keep playing it, why it's such, just such a fun game to me, and why there's still people here. Just chilling. So, number one biggest reason is Wizard 101. I know so many people who play Wizard 101, and I'm like, hey, just try Pirate 101. And they like it. It's a fun game. It's just a fun game. It's got the same, some of the same characters, like you got Meow Artie, you got Prospector Zeke, you got some of the same classic characters, and you got a bunch of new stuff. If you have never played Pirate 101, and you play Wizard 101, definitely try out Part 101. It is a fun game. <laughs> Trust me, it is a fun game. Super fun. Um, this game, obviously it's the it's the sister game to Wizard 101. It has been no nowhere near as popular. Like, I know so many Part 101 players who play Wizard 101, but then I know barely any Wizard 101 players who play Part 101, and I think that just Give it a chance. If you like King's Isle games, you'll like Pirate 101 because it's a good game. Okay. So second reason is, oh my gosh, Pirate 101's combat is so fun. It mixes it up. Like Wizard 101, it's it's blade faint hit, blade faint hit. You know how it goes. I play some Wizard 101. I'm in Azteca. I'm not far, but I I'm I'm in the I'm in the groove. You know. Part 101, it switches it up all the time. You might have a bunch of musketeers, you might have a bunch of swashbucklers that are dodgy, you might have a privateer that heals the team or gives them like call to arms. You might have like special boss stuff. Like I know there's cheats in pirate, but it's or in wizard, it's not the same. And the chessboard, like so it's not really a chessboard. It's it's more or less like um I don't know what you would call it. It's like a I guess a game grid, basically. But it's so unique how you can and you you just like I don't know how to explain it. You're not just like in a circle. You actually have to move up and give movement and you have range and stuff. Just not like a sigil, which I know is that and you can like bomb people. Oh yeah. Musketeer vibe. Let's go. That's why Musketeer is best. Musketeer best. Okay. No. Um, the combat in Part 101 is so fun. Like, you might be like, ah, boring turn base. No, it is so fun. You have reactionary roles, like... You have like vengeance strike when you get hit you have repost when you like dodge it's such a fun combat system that never gets boring to me i go into a power 101 fight actually having fun testing out my powers seeing what kind of strategies i can do wizard 101 feels so repetitive where you just keep blading fanning hitting blade fan hit blah 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 blah. and as a storm wizard i just tempest and as a death wizard i just scarecrow it's just like that's how you do it I'm um, trying to get my Myth Wizard up so I can Orthrus. That will be really nice. I know Orthrus is, like, the best. <laughs> um, the next reason uh, is Companions. Now, in in Pirate, there's these things called Companions, okay? Um, in Wizard, there's these things called Henchmen, right? And you can buy Henchmen. They help you, yes. And they're just kind of like Pirate Henchmen. Like, they just join you in combat. But Wizard has hen or Pirate has henchmen for free, and you have it every single fight. 
Soloing in Wizard, it can be done. I play Death, it's very easy to solo, but any other school, I feel like it's a lot harder to solo. So I always have to get my questing partner on and stuff. Wizard, I, I just need that. But Pirate, I can literally just like solo if I want to. Like if I want to defeat the Hydra, I can just use my companions like Bonnie Ann to absolutely... Uh, Hydra's not a good example because she'll just keep overwatching and <laughs> killing them. But you know, like just super, super good. And you don't have to play with people. Like I know Pirate isn't that popular anymore. So solo questing, it's easy been easy made with companions. I think that companions, they, they increase like your attachment to the story. They give like jokes here and there. And it's just such a fun thing. Like watching your companions grow like... From like a, a little crab harpooner to a cannoneer. Look at that. That's crazy. And like getting Chantel up. Looking with that cool sniper. And especially Bonnie Ann with her four promotions. It's great. Companions add so much depth and like liveliness to the game. Which I love. It's so good. Like this game would be so much different if there wasn't companions. Like imagine part 101 without companions. It just doesn't seem like it would be part 101, right? Like it's, it's yeah. And tying along to that. The story in pirate 101 is the best story out of the two games i'm sorry if you like wizard 101 story go for it that's your opinion but you know pirate 101 story is in my opinion so much better so much more better than wizards wizards is so just like what am I doing here? Why am I in Azteca? I probably didn't follow it, but it's so long, drawn out. Why are we... What, this crab... This is not crab lady. Spider lady now? Like, what is even happening? I got, like, Malastare and stuff, but then you just, like, kind of ruined it. I don't know. I don't understand the story, but Pirate, specifically El Dorado, trying to find your parents, trying to defeat Kane, all that just wraps around into why you're doing stuff. And you go to Cooper's Roost to find a piece of Marco Pollo's map. It's just, it's all tied into there. And it's just, it's... I can't explain enough how much I love the story of Pirate 101. It's just so, just everything, the art, like, it, this is this is a good game with a good story. If you realize why you're going to places, you'll have more fun. And the only place I kind of found myself kind of feeling like, why am I here? Why am I being dragged along is Mushu, which is my least favorite world. I'm sorry, anyone who likes Mushu. It's just not my cup of tea. Because I had my favorite world, Cooper's Roost. Okay, I just call it Cooper's Roost. Wow, that's because I'm in Cooper's Roost. Um, <laughs> cool Ranch, um, my favorite world. And then you just got Mushu, which I'm like, why am I here? I know it's probably Marco Polo, but then it's like, oh, Dragon Balls? I just call them Dragon Balls. Turtle Balls? Like, what am I doing here, man? You can tell I have not been to Mushu anymore. I don't have to go to Mushu anymore, guys, unless I'm doing another character. But oh my, oh my characters are past Mushu, let's go, and we get to go to Marleybone, second best world of the game, definitely, eh, maybe Skull Island, maybe Monkey's, well, I don't know, you know, I already did a world rankings video, if you want to check that out, see what I, my opinions were, okay, the next one, oh my gosh, the worlds, the worlds in Pirate are, they're so good, the worlds in Pirate are crazy good, they have so much diversity, Sometimes in in Wizard, I'm like, this dungeon I've done a million times. There's some bugs. Why are there bugs in Azteca? Isn't that isn't that chrysalis? Like, what am I doing here? The the worlds are not in depth. I feel like I'm in an underwater area every two seconds in the worlds. Like, I love the design of every Wizard 101 world, but Pirate 101's worlds are so beautiful. Like, okay, you know the geometry isn't great, but like that, you can't tell me that this looks great. I love Cooper's Roost. Like, this is actually called Cooper's Roost, right? Or is it something else? I was map M, probably. Yeah, Cooper's Roost, yeah. I just love the design getting in here right after you're, like, doing, um, Valencia Part 1. It's just so beautiful. And just popping in and being like, wow, this is a cool Wild west theme world. And I get to spend seven Skyways here. Let's go. Uh, that's the one thing I don't like about Cooper's or Cool Ranch. But, um... No, the world designs are beautiful. There's distinct areas like the Haunted Skyway. You've got like the winter part in Mushu. You've got like Beachhead in Marleybone and like so many distinct areas when I can't name like a single area besides like the ones in Wizard City like Triton Avenue, Colossus Boulevard, um, Cyclops Lane and Firecat Alley. Those are the only like, I don't remember anything else. Maybe like Haunted Cave, but like I can distinctly remember ev like every area like 
Monquista's got like the sewers, which is such a like an interesting dungeon. Like you got like such good dungeons. That's another thing. Their dungeons are so good. Like I've I've realized Wizard One One's dungeons are either like go up these stairs, boss, or go up these stairs, minions, 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 and then boss, or like go into the room and then boss. Pirates is like a whole thing. You have to do sometimes do puzzles. Like I know there's puzzles in like the final dungeon of like Celestia and stuff, but like. This one's so much more common, and you're actually, like, facing enemies that make sense. Like, you have, like, the... What are they called? The Desperado Toe guys, you know. What I'm talking about. And I keep saying I keep saying so about Cool Ranch, but it's my favorite world. You go into that compound, the Frog... Uh, what, I don't you know. You know, I haven't been to Cool Ranch in a long time. But you have to, like, raid a fort, literally. And it's, like, there's the captains, the lieutenants, the soldiers. It's just all this, like, it feels like you're actually, like... Castilio Sapo, that's not the Frog frog like compound i don't remember the name but it's it's a really good one so yeah okay so second to last we have the gear i love the gear in wizard 101 i keep going back to wizard 101 because you know it's the game to compare i love the gear of wizard 101 but pirate 101 when you switch worlds your gear completely changes like you don't have like dungeon gear that you stick with the entire game like you got like waterworks gear or like um is it Darkmoor gear, I think? I'm not there yet, so... But you don't stick with gear. You, like, level up. Like, you get, like, level 70 gear. Kane, and it looks like you're actually belong to Kane. And, like, this looks like Aquila. And, like, this looks like uh, Cooper's Roost. Keep saying that. Wow. <laughs> cool ranch. I don't know why I keep saying Cooper's Roost. Like, and look at that. I also got this. I was so mad. I spent 18,000 crowns. I could have given them to you guys. No, I spent 18,000 crowns trying to get Captain's Blood's jacket. And I got his hat. The drop rates are so bad, you know? I ha I'm, I don't have any crowns anymore. I have to wait for the next crown sale. It's, it's so sad. I'm very disappointed in myself to not, like, hold back and wait. But I, 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 hey, I gave away some crowns on the Rookies channel. Hopefully they enjoy their, their packs. Hopefully they got some good things. But, um... Yeah, and like Mushu, you got some Mushu stuff. It's just, it's just very, very nice. And the gear is beautiful. And the, the weapons, they're all very distinct. Like, look at that sword. And they got crossbows. And look at that hammer. And look, wow, look at that Craven Blade. And you got like a, that's like cool ranch. Like cool looking thing. And then the fairy step. Oh, very good. And then the other ones are just wands in uh, Pirate or in Wizard Ball. I keep mixing them up. Um, I actually have two more now. This one, ships. Now, I know a lot of people hate ship combat. I hate ship combat. No one likes ship combat. If you like ship combat, you're insane, okay? But <laughs> ships are awesome. In Wizard, you have to, like, just go through teleporters, but you actually feel like you're exploring the world. Like, I remember my first time going into, like, um, Tradewind Skyway in, like, six years and just remembering, like, all the memories I had of, like, just, like, being in the skyway and just having fun with friends and like just exploring stuff and just seeing like all this stuff just like it's beautiful i love it and being able to explore and like go on to different islands like some of these islands i've never been to the watering hole well you know, now i have but like there's just islands that i've never been to and that's a funny pun hidden valley ranch that has been very funny funny king's eyes all um no it's it's great it's very great okay Ships are awesome, and I'm glad they added it to a pirate game, you know, it's just kind of kind of hand in hand. Okay, finally, the last thing is classes. Now, you, now, going back to wizard again. Oh, let me help this guy. I got you, home skillet. Yoink. There we go. <laughs> Did I miss? Don't even know. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, no, the last thing is classes. Like, in, in wizard... All the classes are relatively the same. Now, like, granted, there's balance with, like, boosts and, um, life with healing and stuff. But, like, the classes, they're all just spells. But with this game, you got melee, you got range, you got magic, you got support. All these are just so much different. Like, the play styles. If you're playing a privy, you're gonna have a way different experience than playing a musk. Like, it's... It's completely different. Like, obviously... I have all my characters. I've finally gotten most of them up. Like, this isn't a good example, but I got I got decent witch doctor, max buck as you know, decent privy. I finally got him up from level 19 to 51. Still working on him. 
almost max, actually on the last battle, uh, Swash, um, and obviously my max Musketeer. Um, I just realized these guys have the same hat, <laughs> nice. Um, also there's 10, 10, 10 anniversary, look at that. We'll switch to the, the preview right now. I like his, his fit. Oh. I have this? Don't remember buying this, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah, no, so classes are so much different in the game. Like, so all I have is loaded with a bunch of supports and heals, which is completely different from my musk, which I have bombs and sh shots, like sniper shots. The game is completely different depending on what class you play, and for, for Wizard, it's not as much, so... Pirate's just so good in that sense. Now I'm gonna say one, one. I know it's I know it's I know it's Pirate's birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, wrong side. Happy birthday. Is that inverted? Probably. Happy birthday, Pirate 101. You're awesome. But the one thing I'd like to say: Can we please, please get mounts that you can buy for coins? Now you already have this. That's a that's a really goofy <laughs> looking. <laughs> okay. Um can we please we already have this in Wizard. Can we please get this in Pirate? Because first of all, people who I get to spend a membership in the game. When I get someone to spend a membership in the game, this is they're already committing, right? I'm like, "Hey, buy a membership." Okay? Then on top of that, they have to spend what? At least 5 Five or ten bucks on crowns? Oh, that's loud. <laughs> nope. At least, well, besides that, at least like, yeah, that's yeah, that's five bucks. Ten, I don't know, ten bucks. I think it's five thousand crowns. Yeah, at least ten dollars on the game to get a single mount. I know you can rent mounts, but that's not the same. I'm asking for permanent mounts that when we get to like, because I remember every time in Mushu I could get a free mount in Wizard. I want that in Pirate, like every time you get maybe to the end of Cool Ranch, like that level 35 Haunted Skyway, we should have enough gold, like 90,000 gold, just like the other one, to buy a permanent mount. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just needs to be practical, you know? Because this is not good, a one day mount for 2,000 gold, what am I going to do? Buy a mount every single day? I guess that's fine, but it's just kind of like, why? Like get a permanent mount, it's the one thing I'm asking, also obviously new updates but it's a little unrealistic but you know that'd be nice so those are all my compliments for part 101 it's a very very good game uh, i'll try and make more videos soon college apps are done in a november 1st so in a week and a i don't know what day it is honestly um but i work every saturday so it's a it's a lot right now but after college apps are done i should be able to make some more videos so that would be very nice um check out my drone channel too burning in a drone very cool channel. We'll link that in the description below. Also, uh, here's a clip of what I was doing um, during uh, the the ten the the ten year anniversaries um, celebration. Um, I was uh, in a whale club uh, spinning, you know, as one does. And then Hawkeyes was just ring around the rosy the the. The fountain. I just casually, yeah. Hercules was just there, which was awesome to see. I don't think he recognized me, my Julian character. Um, wish he did. That'd be awesome if he's like, "Hey, Just Fang." That would have been pretty cool. But you know, I'm not complaining. I'm pretty niche, you know. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Happy birthday, Pirate One One. Bye bye.